we doing now, right? Coming up to the Coons Baltimore Ford race truck. Taking her back to the home she came from. Right, this is bad boy. <laughs> this thing just hauls butt. By uh, the supercharger I was saying, this thing would be just wicked fast. Oh my gosh. And this is a D-Chain 5.0 work truck motor, 400 horsepower. Oh my goodness. What do they have up here now, right? Boy, they're heavy. Heavy. Are they heavy in inventory? Is it a changing? This person here to buy a car. There's one. How many deals do they do today? I'd be one to bet 10. Oh, there's an orange Bronco. That's dangerous, right? Hey, let's buy another one. Let's buy another Raptor. How about that? Two Raptors, right? Yeah, let's do it. Come on, man. Let's do it. That might wow, that's a two-door. That was your last time, actually. Wow. So a lot of a lot of inventory, man. Ooh, that's pretty. That's really nice. That dangerous. What is it? Oh wow. It's not all about, right? Yikes. Yeah, this place is now this is the heaviest I've seen it yet. So the inventory is coming back. Wow. Look, I mean seriously. Look at this. I haven't seen it this heavy in at least two years. Wow. Oh, this place is happening, man. In this place, right now, there's people all over the place. <laughs> I wish she's one of these guys, all the gloomer doomers watch my YouTube channel. I'm gonna tell them you're full of baloney, man. It ain't happening, man. People, people you know, say the county's going broke. It's a bunch of malarkey. It's beyond believable. I guarantee you guys to sell 10 cars today. You're lined up. Nah. Oh my gosh. Here we go. So here's the... Yeah, I actually got the key thing on it. Same interior as mine. So was this a retail order guy backed out of or you guys ordered it? Huh? Oh, he ordered it. He didn't want to get it? Yep, pretty cool. But I mean, sincerely, which looks better, the cactus gray one? Or the, uh, what is this, the Baja orange? Yeah, so my sales guy's saying, hey man, I sent you an F450 used here a while back. And I'm like, that's a beautiful F450 over there. And I, get, I know nothing about that. Oh, you didn't. Uh-uh. So I got over there. Yeah, but you sent it to somebody else. Let's walk down your line down here. Let's walk down here. What do you got going on? You got a customer? So we're, we're walking the line. This is the heaviest inventory I've seen yet. So what happened to Jim Farley's idea? That guy that got kicked to the curb. I mean, Jim Farley's idea, there's no way you can tell me that his idea has played out. And But here's, here's what's not comforting. Look at all of the Mach E's. Look at all Ford Mach E's. Look at this. All ready. Oh, uh, huh? All retail ready. So they're all, all ready to go. Whoever wants to buy one can buy it. They can buy it. So wow, this yep. is the heaviest, yep. heaviest. What's happened to all the EV? Look at all the EVs. Look at this. I've never ever seen a Ford dealer with this many electric mach -E's. You guys have to be the heaviest of anybody. And so we're... Available mach -E's. But, but where, but where is... Fast. Where is the, the crazies that all want the electric vehicles? Where are they? Huh? Where are all the people, you know, that were complaining they couldn't get an electric vehicle? <laughs> They're gone. Right? Yeah. Where's your Tremor... Uh, where's your Tremor Maverick? Maverick? You got a Tremor Maverick yet? This is a real base. What's this right here? Yep. Now she'll tear it. And then pretty well packaged up. So look at this here. I'm telling you. So the times 
the time to change that's for sure you can't deny that not that you guys are by any means sucking wind but the times of change have, have yeah. happened oh yeah right or wrong right under his nose <laughs> all right look at all the uh, explorers yeah so like right now over at the other lot where the dirt is nothing over there there's everything over here but those dualies that i texted you we talked about the last time i was here those got those trucks are somewhere else. They're in Woodbridge yeah, and they're somewhere else. All line. It's uh, ridiculous. I never liked that. It's ridiculous. I had never liked Such that. Such mis- idea. Their idea is that oh, we'll we'll attract the we'll consumer to buy it, but the other dealer is not going to give it to you. So you just circumvented you yourself. Gotta, you gotta switch, put them up to here, Mike. But what's this here? Okay, so here's a question. STS. All the F four fifties here are all low model trucks. Oh, low. Yeah. Low you sure about that? But even F 450s. This right here, the 450. I mean, this is a, uh, I'm sorry, this is a Larry. The only one I got that's like, but it's a 350 though. Yeah. Yeah, see to me, I like the F 450 because the wheels, you can always just change the wheels out. I mean, that's not a really that radical a thing, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? But I got a white F 450. The problem is, I don't really want a white F 450. Yes, that's where I got. That's it. You got another one down here. Yeah, one down here. I saw when I was walking down the line. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's another F450 down here. I swear. Yeah, right. right oh, it's a 350. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> yeah, and it's an STX. Mm-hmm. Oh, STX. And oh. nothing on the other lot. Yeah, so you can see it's heavy. Here's my, I mean, that tremor I had, that thing disappeared in one day. When I traded that thing in, it's gone. Gone. But this is actually, this is actually antimatter. F450. Wait a second. I don't think, but well, this, this isn't bad. But is this a gas? Yeah, well. See this here? This ain't bad. This is a price vehicle, too. This is definitely your F450. That's so many of these things already. It's hard to believe I already probably had like three or four F four fifties. Incredible. But I drive them for about a year. I mean, I, don't, I drive them eight, nine months a year, and I've literally been able to just give them back and just pretty much I didn't even I didn't lose anything. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. All right, let's keep on walking. All right, so this is that. Oh wow. Yeah, it's really, that is a neat yeah, color. But look at the, uh, it has the tow mirror package. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? It's too bad that this wasn't the tremor package. Yeah, tow package on it. Yep. But here's a question. Does it have the tremor suspension underneath this thing? I don't think it does. Huh? That's pretty cool. It's definitely different. Yeah. But it's a platinum? It's platinum. Really? With yeah. tow mirrors. Because you have to match the trailer tow But it's a what motor? The 3.5. 3.5. Oh, it's hybrid. a hybrid. Oh. Hey, wow. A hybrid with a tow package. Wow. That's interesting. That's What's the interior look like? Does this have the blue cruise? Oh, that's a good question. Let's see here. Security pack, black appearance, twin. I'm not seeing max trailer package, two grand. I'm not seeing the. I don't see it. Oh, wait, it's like 360. Ford Copilot Active 360. Is that it? Nah. Did you say Blue Cruise? Yes, it, it, it say it up top. Turn it. Safety. Evasive steering. Four pass connect. No, I'd be over no. here. No? Yeah. Damn, I don't know. Oh, so, what's the name of this color? A blue gray. Really? Let's see here. Yeah, it is. Wonder, but I wonder how this compares to the Tremor truck ride. What's your guess? But, you know, 23 miles a gallon, that's pretty impressive. Let's get a key. I'd like to just drive this just because it's the latest, greatest F-150. And I just like to kind of see how it drives. 
So I had that. I'm gonna tell you, this day, that was one of my favorite F-150 trucks, right there, the Tremor. I gave it up for that F-450. I mean, so, for the record, yeah, you know, to this day, would I be as happy in that as my Ford Raptor, for the most part? I mean, sincerely, I would be. <laughs> I mean, that truck just has such the capability. And here you go. So down the line. So one up, there's one Tremor F-150. You know, FX4, STX. So if you're out there looking for cars, I'm here at Coons Baltimore Ford. And if you think there's not much inventory, there, those days, the day, you know, it's definitely changing. But why is Ford, why is Ford further ahead than the other manufacturers? I mean, is anybody out there watching my channel? If you go to a Toyota dealership, do you see, if you go to a Chevy dealership, do you see this type of inventory? I mean, I mean, just go through the list of the manufacturers. I, myself, I mean, even the Ram and Dodge and Jeep, I used to think was pretty healthy. These guys, to me, extremely healthy. What's going on? Are the people, is, is Ford just pricing themselves out of the market? I mean, there is a lot of talk about how these the prices of their vehicles so much. And they've raised the price on the F-150 so much that they're just literally, um, you know, taking themselves out of the market. What's the rattler? You know, what's that all about? Right. What's your thoughts? What's going on? What now? Got the number. Well, you just take a picture of it. That's a better thing to do. So, uh, so anyways, yeah, you really have to scratch your head of what's going on. To me, I think Ford's priced themselves on market. That's my first inclination. Now, here's the lightning so look at this here this is your, your avalanche wow but is this oh, extended range wow 2023 now that's so what's the deal on this Derek yep. is it available yeah. but is it stupid ADM oh, is this a person that did an order and then backed oh, out? So it now? Special order on it, but let's see. Wouldn't be up here though if it's for, if not for sale. Oh yeah, it would. <laughs> really? Yeah. So you're so tight with inventory you'd leave it up here? Yeah. yeah okay. So this could be so I'm not really fixated yeah, on this. this. You know what I mean? How you doing there? <laughs> no, I know that. I get all that. I'm just asking in general, that's all. I really like the twenty three miles per gallon. That's pretty good. I think that thing's be pretty torquey. You know what I mean? Yeah, let me get the key. We'll find out. Okay. Here's the, uh, Hey, that's something. This is kind of hidden in here, too. You know that? It's a Larry, right? Yeah, it is. But it's black, right? They got these things everywhere. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, for me, the... Now, here's a nice black term. That's what I had this, so... I already have black, and I've had so many. Yeah, you know, Challenger Ford for me at this point is I've had all their vehicles, and I'm just bored of them. I mean, <laughs> I mean that's that's kind of where I am. It's like, yeah, these are really nice vehicles. It's interesting. They're putting Michelin's on the F350. That little small tire just totally makes the truck not look as nice. I just, I mean. Uh, I haven't had a white <coughs> tremor yet, but these things, but here's the thing, that F-150 Platinum down there, you can buy this truck for the same price. And I can tell you what, if you buy this truck here, I can promise you, you can drive a truck for a year and you can turn it back in and you're gonna get premium price for it. That F-150 Lightning truck back there, I just can't see it. There's like a thousand dollar difference. Now this is the Larry, it's not the Platinum, but at the same time, just wow on the uh let's get back in here see they're they're tucked man here this is cool but it's yeah it's f250 so what is this yeah see same thing diesel the only thing with these big f250s what i'm not excited about is it's the front end the front end, it walks so much. 
I just can't just can't get excited. That's kind of why I sold my that's why I sold my F250 Tremor Platinum package. The truck just walks. So that Platinum F150, there's no doubt in my mind, that truck. Here's the thing with that E hybrid motor setup in it, that thing may be a little torque monster. But here's pretty incredible how the majority of these vehicles are all the six seven motors. And no 7.3 Godzillas. Wow. And that's like a $10,000 difference. In the day. It's pretty substantial. Amazing. It's still sitting here. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I just can't see it. Who's buying the mustard hot dog car? Your daughter. From the beach. <laughs> yeah, right. She wouldn't be seeing that thing. You could actually pay her to drive and she wouldn't drive it. Beyond believable. Okay, think about Who the ordered thing. this? Think about the dog. Right, take uh, Who ordered this? Hey, buddy, how are you? Uh, I don't know. You want to buy? Want, want to do our deal? I know. There is the right attitude. All right, here we go. All right, got my key sale. My number one sales guy that's put up with my attitude for a few years. But here's, let's count it out. I've now I've had, I've had. The regular F-250, you know, blacked out package. I've now had F-2, F-250 tremors, a gas and a diesel. I've had now three F-450s. Right. Um, on the F-150 side, which is kind of interesting, I haven't been that heavy on that side. Right. The F-150 tremor is the first vehicle F-150 truck I think I bought. I think. Right. I mean, can you think that I did before that? I don't think I did. And then the Mustangs, I've had a ton of Mustangs. I've had a ton of Ford Explorers. I've already had a few Mustang mach -E's. I mean, it's like the checklist of everything I've owned. You're running out of something for me to buy that I get uh, excited about. You just buy but, a lot. That's all. Yeah, so, but here's the thing. This is cool. I'm kind of excited about this. That's a cool color. It's different. That's just different. different. That's what I mean. Yeah. So, let's see how she sounds. Oh, I love the uh, tow mirrors. Oh my gosh! So what? Now what? What? This is electric from the, when you roll it out of the spot. Oh no! We're both learning. Are we both learning on this? No, I'm saying when we put it in gear, it's probably just the electric motors, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I have no idea. Oh, here we go. So it just started up. Platinum. Show it there. I like that little screen. Oh, wow. All right. 75 yeah. years F Series Cross. Excellent. Look at the interior. Oh, I wonder if it has massaging seats. I think so. I don't know. So here's the thing. You gotta be kidding me. Probably no. Probably no massaging seats. Do you even know? There's a little side button on the on the side. Yep. Has to be a center button. Yeah. There's a center button. There's a little button here. That could be lumbar though. Yeah, it doesn't have massaging seats. Oh. Yeah, I guarantee it's because of the. Uh, yeah, right. We'll just go to your. Uh, well, you had it. The settings. In here, no, it'd have been under settings, settings? under comfort. Uh, I would think so. No, that's not it. Keep on going. Vehicle, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think it does. Nah. All right, so now, all right, so here's the thing let's get the uh, seat belt in and let's get our this here. All right. So the brake should come off. Okay, here you go. Gotta bring that down. All right. So what do you? But what do you? What do you know about this vehicle? I mean, what? What's the hybrid thing all about? So it has an electric motor in it. I guess do our front camera. Battery. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's telling you what's doing. So let's see here. It's our camera. The engine on, dude, because it's. Cold. Are we gonna make it? Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So sorry. So any you know, no offense here, but do you know a lot about this truck? 
Or just too new. Just got too it. New. Yeah, we just got this it. is just the first year out of this package. Yeah. In the platinum. The platinum. platinum. So power boost. Okay. So this has electric wheel motors or it just has an electric motor to assist the engine. Yeah, it's in a battery. Well, what's wrong? Okay, so what is? Telling you what to do to the battery. And okay, engine due, engine on due to engine cold. Okay, I guess want the engine to warm up. Right. Okay. So, like, how much power does this thing have? Do you even know? Like before and after. Right. Uh oh, here's a Cadillac Escalade. Yep. When did you get that one in? Uh, about a week ago. Nice. Yeah, it's pricey. Oh, we got a nice used Super Duty up here. What's that all about? Ooh, it's got that King Ranch. That's a King Ranch. What year is that? 250. Got to be 20. So now? 2021. 20 See, to me, I really loved my Tremor F-150 truck, but the mirrors when I went to tow. That F-150 Tremor truck uh -huh. out to... The Godzilla truck. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's why I got rid of it. That's why I got rid of it. Oh, so this thing is already... I can already tell. This thing here, the power is like not... I mean, I'm not even pushing the gas pedal. Wow. This thing, I can already just feel how powerful this is. Huh. The other lot. So there's another one. Yeah. What is that? Same color, but I don't think that's a... That has different wheels, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a regular one. That's what do you mean by that? that? Oh, it's not a platinum. Yeah. But it's out of sold order. Uh, I don't Who know. Knows? I, can't tell. I mean, this thing's a pricey truck. I mean, but I can already tell with the, uh, wow. Yeah. So, but here's what's to be really interesting is on that Tremor truck, what was so cool about that was the, uh, the different drive modes. I know, I know, I know, I know. I, got, I know we're down tow haul. Where is it? Sport. Where's Sport? There, there's Sport. Oh, but it goes to the four-wheel drive. Why does it do that? My my Raptor truck doesn't do that. The Raptor truck stays in two-wheel drive. You don't need four-wheel drive. Because now we're in sport. Oh, this thing's spirited. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! This thing here, man. Wow. Mm. Wow. I mean, this thing's... <laughs> oh, this thing's got an attitude. This thing will rock. Mm. And this thing has the heavy-duty tow package on That's, it. Wow. Well, so it definitely towed better, probably better than the trimmer of the, uh, the truck. Because of the end. But now it's the truck's off, right? Yeah. But now I got in sport mode, so I'm not so sure it's going to go. But yeah. oh my gosh. So right yeah. here. Yeah. So yeah. the electric. Yeah. Look. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not even. I am not even pressing this pedal down much. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mm. This thing here. This thing's pretty. This thing's definitely badass. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, this is dangerous. <laughs> and, you know, it's incredible. I've been driving by your dealership now for three <laughs> days in a row. I've had business issues for the last three days. Yeah. And I've been driving by her every day. Then today, I didn't think I'd even be up in this area today. I mean, I'm sincere. I was even, the phone call came in, and here I am. Here I am. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> but this thing here, Wow. I mean, just a, wow. Does it have advanced screws? Oh, you're right. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, it is right there. Where? To the right of it. Say what? Right there. Well, that's the, uh, that's to keep it in the, in the, the lane. No, right there. What's that? What's that? Oh, this is the adapter. We have adapter. Yeah. yeah, it has adapter, but it doesn't have blue cruise. Oh, no. No, I know we have blue. It would be sitting right there. Oh, really? Yeah, but the camera's right there. Okay. Watch your face. Brake coach. 85% return. All right, so now let's go back to, oops, let's go back to the normal mode, okay? So you could tell right there was the electric battery. Mm -hmm. When I let off the, uh, when I accelerated, I could feel electric battery at first pushing it. Hmm. So if we go to another, another light, you may be able to feel that a little bit, especially if I just let off the gas. If I don't get into it too much, because you don't hear the engine running as it moves. You kind of pay attention here. Mm -hmm. See here. If we can get here in time. Okay, so always stop. And so I'll take up kind of slow. 
this time. Nobody behind this per se. See that? Look. That's electric batteries. Mm -hmm. There's the engine. Yeah. So in it's stop and go lead. traffic and slow, you know, slow motion, the electric yeah. battery yeah. is running this thing. Yeah. Now what's the highest mileage possible on this? I mean it says twenty three all around. Yeah, I know. That's what's weird, isn't it? Weird. That is that's the that's it's the weirdest. Twenty three is city and it's twenty three in the highway, which it's, is great because it's more like a why? city right running around truck. Right, but it's saying though as well it's that they out. just it's just one oh. mileage fits all. Right. I've never seen that on a vehicle posted before. Have you? Twenty three everything. Yeah, have you ever seen ever. that on ever. a vehicle you've ever sold? Ever. Isn't that incredible? It's just in front of our eyes. The dynamics of this industry that you're in is just so advancing. There's so much technology. I don't know how you stay on top of it. You know, as a salesperson, how do you ever really stay ahead of the curve without just living in the books and living in the internet of all the different things going on with these vehicles? Right. Now you got the used car side that you know as well as I do that, you know, how does that, you know, there's a whole other variable that you need to kind of know on that side. You don't understand that stuff that you get critical of salespeople. I'm like, until you sit in that person's shoes, you don't understand it's infinite, it's infinite information yep. that you're trying to retain to tell somebody that makes, you know, you, you come across that you kind of know what you're selling. All right. What's your impression so far? I mean, it's an F-150 truck. I mean, is there anything jumping out at you at this time? Is there anything? Power. You can feel that. I can feel a difference in power. I want to ride because, you know, from a parent, a parent, a parent to tremor. Yeah, I mean, so far the ride is every bit of that tremor kind of feel. Okay. But I don't think, I can't road. see off-road it being the same if you kind of got aggressive off-roading. Right. But I can see on the main road, this definitely seems to have, That's you know, the, kind the of free-spirited fun factor in it. Towing. And it's tight. This thing's extremely tight right now. Okay. You know, it's interesting, those F-150 Lightnings, those things there, that battery's so heavy under them, it, it shakes. It kind of shimmies the truck. Hmm. Have you noticed that? I mean, that's what I noticed with my guy that works for me and drives that. And when I had one, is when you go around the corners, you go around, you know, you kind of get into rough areas. The truck kind of just, like, shakes a little bit. Because it's that huge battery pack that's, you know, pulling you around. Wow, so this thing this just rocks. Better, this is better thing, for him than the... the, the no, not, not at all. Because I have to pay him by the miles. Oh. And I don't buy any gas in that truck, so it offsets what I paid oh, him in okay. miles. Gotcha. I used to pay him like $2,000 a month in mileage. <laughs> yeah, right, for riding... Yeah. Right, it just goes towards paying for the truck. Right. It's a no-brainer. Right. So it's, no, this would be an expensive truck, and i got to buy gas. So it wouldn't make any sense. Right. He loves that truck. I've already talked about, do I... He's like, no. He uh -huh. loves that truck. Okay, so now it's here. Actually, my test can be able to, because I want to really see how. Oh, it's at, we're at close to 13,000 miles. Yeah, already. I want to see how it goes, yeah. because yeah. you be the one. That's a good well, I, well, I talked about it yesterday in my yeah. video. I made yeah, a video. A video oh, that. the Raptor in the F-150 Lightning, we came through yesterday. Yeah. We ran them. Uh -huh. And the Raptor hung. I was amazed that the Raptor hung with an F-150 Lightning. Okay. But the lightning overall would take it off the line for sure. Yeah, but rolling, takes... rolling like sixty miles an hour, we would nail it. Yeah, yeah, the, we, no, we were just like head to head. Yeah. I barely he could walk me, and then I could maybe walk him, but not much. Yeah, it's a, yeah. So I was really just taken back by that. You know, it's too bad you're paying for all this damn technology, this damn vehicle, but no freaking massaging seats. Right. What a joke. That was. Ford's number one thing that really drew me to their product was the massaging seats. Huh. And they've taken it they away. Made a big deal about it. Right. They really did. Yeah, so now. In training, that's all he was saying. Right. You gotta make sure you, you get to the window, to the to the spot where, you know, you try to massage the seats on customers when they test drive it. Then they take it away. Right. I know, just incredible. Yeah. So this here. So engine on, beautiful drive power. So I wonder when, you know, you're in the stop and go traffic, what speed is it when the electric battery turns off and the engine turns off? I wonder if there's settings in there for that, where you get to set when you want the electric, you know, or you just can't do that. I don't think, you know, I don't think you can do that. Like use the battery when you want it. Right. It to be smooth. 
That would be crazy. Yeah, this thing here. This thing's like a feels like a V8. So this feels like a V8 vehicle. If I didn't know it was in this vehicle right now, really? I'd tell you we're in the V8. We're in a V8 truck. Yeah, you remember we got three five. We still got the three five. Right? Yeah, but the but it doesn't. Is, right, but when you get in, like I nail that V6 twin turbo Raptor truck. You feel that V6. You know, you feel the V6 torque. Right. You don't feel that V8 grunt. No. So this here feels like a V8. Uh, this, you know, here's the thing. Getting this, what do we give up? You know, do I give you the Raptor for this just to oh, change it up? Whoa. Oh, oh. Oh. You know what I mean? Just to change. Well, here's the thing. This is the irony. My Raptor's getting 11 and a half to 12 miles per gallon. I mean, it's like, I mean, it's a gas hog. It's a gas. I can't get over what's going on. I don't know. I mean, I roll up and down the road in the dang thing, but this thing, what is going on with this thing being gas? What do we put into it? I don't even know no, if we, we trade anything. We, we trade anything. We we just, I just bought it. We bought two. We, yeah. We bought the Raptor. Yeah. yeah. And then you did the. the I can't. No, we did the six car thing. Yeah, something like that. So the Raptor remember. might be free and clear. I don't know. There's that same color. That's pretty cool. Yeah, leave it up here. Don't go back. Well, I'm not. I just want to get it. I want to get it where I can get a better angle at right it. I want to get it where I can see it. Right in here. There we go. I mean, really comfortable truck. I mean, extremely comfortable. But this is, I've, you know, comfort-wise, this is like the course. Raptor as far as just seat really comfortable. You know? The seats feel good. Yeah. Kind of, I'm disappointed that you can't get the, uh, it's over here. There's a button right in the middle. And so I'm kind of but, disappointed but, another, in that. Another thing, too, Gary. Yeah. You, you can tow with this. Oh, yeah, man. So it, it, out, it out leaps the Raptor right there. Oh, and I know that. Gas mile. Right, right. Double the gas mileage. It's a tow. Right. Better the interior is just the same, right? Not a little bit better. You don't have massage seats, but neither did the Raptor. No, I know. And these seats feel actually oh, probably about the same. Actually, let's check that out. I like the deployable steps, I like that. Wow, you are dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am. I create my own problems. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, yeah, wow. I like. What I really like is the telomeres. What now? Still got the. Uh, oh wow! So I really like. I love the uh, telomeres. See, I bought those aftermarket telomeres and I towed my bigger trailer, right. and it's they're terrible. So the interior is really cool. It's like a bluish. Is that even like a total black, or is that a bluish, a gray blue? Gray, more gray. Gray. Right. So yeah, and it's pretty cool. It has like the truck mirrors. Yes. You know what I mean? That's kind of cool. Let's see the uh, let's see what the engine here looks like. Okay, Boy, so look at that! Wow, look at this right. technology! Holy yeah. crap! There's your uh, wow. Your boost right here. Wow. On the battery. That is so cool. And so they're probably putting this window sticker where you can actually read it. You know, it's back here. You can't read it. So it's 23 miles. What are you now? Good. <laughs> yeah, the uh, right. Good. <laughs> Wonder what size uh, fuel tank this thing has. Well, here's the thing with the miles we're counting, getting if it's like a 24 or 28, that's gonna get you a good 500 miles. Oh, that wasn't. You know, did I ever have my eyes on this dang thing? Not really. I mean, okay, so anybody watch my channel, I mean, what would I give up? What do I give up for that? I like it. That's a really. And a great tow vehicle. It's not on my mind. This thing's going to tow really well. Then I got my electronic gate here. See here? My back tailgate. Kind of. It's got the dual exhaust. That's nice. I like that look. I like that color. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. The adventure never stops, does it, with Iceman. Power boost. Oh, oh hey there. How are you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Oh, my gosh. I didn't come here to buy anything. And here I am. <laughs> 